My name is Michael Elliott Wordswamp, and I'm testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. I have been skeptical about making this video because whenever I even think about it, the devil itself attacks me. The devil has been visiting me every day for the past two weeks now because I started making testimonies again. After I made my first six months of testimonies about a year ago when I got the laptop to do God's will by making these videos, um... It, it attacked me, but not like it did. After six months, the devil oppressed me so hard that I just stopped making videos for a long time. Shut up, Aziz, for a long time. Um, but I started making videos again, um, and the devil itself has started attacking me. When you have a discernment of spirits, you can discern spirits. You know the perfect truth about spirits. When you hear demon, I talk about it different, shut up demon in Jesus name. When you hear demons voices, they come in accents. There's Latino accents, there's Irish accents, there's Russian accents, there's American accents. Demons sound different. They have, I, I label them as there's ones that sound like they've been sucking on the back of a school bus exhaust for a billion years. They sound so raspy and they sound so angry. There's imps, the um, low level imps sound like they're half vermin. Shut up Aziz! They sound like they're half vermin. Um. There's imps, and I just heard, started hearing these ones about two months ago. Airy, I call them airy imps. They speak with air. Shut up, Aziz! They sound airy. They have like, they elongate everything that they say, but they still sound like imps. Imps always sound like they're demons that are children, children imps. They sound like they have little kid voices, but they're still demonic. Um, They're the ones that sound like they're Greek lords, like Greek, like, mini Greek gods, and they speak super, super articulately, and they sound like they're a billion years old, but they're super perfectly evil, and they speak super articulately. They pronunciate everything that they say greatly. Those ones are terrifying. But when you hear the devil's voice, it sounds like the devil. Like, when you have a discernment spirit, it sounds like a god, like an evil god. It, 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 there's a base to its voice that there, you can't even describe. You can't understand it unless you hear it. So, um, I'm testifying about the dream man. Apparently, over 2,000 people have seen this man, and they call him the Dream Man. Right there. The Dream Man. Uh, <clears throat> the devil is a liar. Um, it can really lie to anyone besides God and people that God uses for his will. Therefore, the devil can't lie to prophets, to saints, to seers, to people with angelic spirits. The devil's not able to. Because God uses them for a divine purpose, and everything was created for his own purpose. This man is not no... I can tell you exactly who this man is. That is Satan. That is the, the form the devil comes in, and I've known it for a long time. Apparently, the first time that anybody has ever seen a vision of this man in a dream was like in 1997 in New York City. When a therapist, uh, some dude said, I keep getting this reoccurring dream. He drew a picture of it. The therapist had it in his room. His next client saw it and said, I saw that man in a dream too. And it started coming out that tons of people had a dream of this man. The first, uh, documentation of it was in 1997 in New York. The first time I saw this man, the devil knew how God was going to use me. I had that I had the most terrifying dream that I have ever had and probably ever will when I was three years old. I had a dream about this man, and I want to testify about it now. I was living with my babysitter. God revealed to me whenever the devil itself gives you a nightmare, you always wake up in the same, in the dream, you wake up, and you always wake up in the same spot and fall asleep. So if the devil gave me a nightmare and I fell asleep on this couch, in the nightmare, I would wake up on this couch because the devil's a liar. It wants you to believe that the dream is as real as possible. So you have to wake up in the same spot you fell asleep when he shows you demonic things. Um, so in the dream, I didn't wake up this time, but in the dream, but I was in Pat Boomgard's house, my, my babysitter, and we were in the kitchen. She looked like it was like the 60s. She was wearing a poodle skirt. She looked younger. She's a very beautiful Christian woman. And um, I woke up. I know I didn't wake up. I was just in the kitchen and she was with me, like talking to me in her kitchen. The doorbell rings and she runs out the door. There's a swinging door, uh, like a swinging door from the kitchen to the living room. So she could go to the front door to answer it. The doorbell rings. She runs through there. Um, I'm waiting in the kitchen. She comes back in with a man who I did not see. I didn't see his face. He's holding a, a briefcase and goes over to the kitchen table and uh, opens up his briefcase. And then Pat runs back out of the room again. Um, 
in the swinging door. So now I'm three years old, I'm in the kitchen with this man and I can't see him. So I'm standing right here, the, uh, the swinging door's right there, the table's over there. And this man is like, I, his back is toward me in the, um, in his little briefcase because I had to get my hair cut and she had a chair sitting there. And I feel this fear, this great, great, great fear building up in me. So great, there's not words for it. There was no reason for me to feel afraid because I didn't even see nothing scary, but I had this great fear building up in me. And when it got to that point of terror, it did this. This man, he always looks like he's half Asian and half Mexican. He, doesn't he not look like he's half Asian, half Mexican? Since I was three years old, 1991 is when I had these dreams and I had two of them in a row. His fear builds up and he does this. <clears throat> And I saw this much of his face, practically perfectly this much of his face. But I'll never forget that it was just that man. I didn't see his entire face like this, but it was like this much of his face. But I'll never forget it. You can't forget that hairline, that hairline that goes all the way up to here. You cannot forget that hairline and that half Asian, half Mexican looking dude. And it was such a demonic look, so terrifying, such terror. There's not words for it. And it terrified me and I woke up terrified. But a month later, I had the exact, the exact same dream, the exact, exact, exact same dream. Terrified me. I was supposed to get my hair cut. This dude's coming by, cut my hair. She, the doorbell rings. She runs through, opens the door, comes back in with the man. And then she runs out frantically again, and I'm left alone with this dude. Um, but it's Satan. <clears throat> Don't ever listen to what it says. That's the form that Satan comes in. And Satan does everything for a reason. Like the way it does, whatever it does, it does it for a reason. I don't know why it picked that form, but it did. And that is Satan. That is Satan. Don't listen to that man. Apparently, they tell it tells you the future. This man tells you the future, blah, 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 blah. But the devil is not allowed to lie to people that God uses for his will, like prophets, saints, and seers, and people with angelic spirits, and eunuchs. So... It's Satan. It's Satan. And I had to make this testimony before I give you the next prophetic dream I'm about to give you that I had. Technically, August 17th, 2017, around 2 a.m. So I'm going to make this video short because this is going to be a longer testimony. But that this man is Satan. This man is definitely Satan. There's no question about it. This man is Satan right here. That is Satan right there. That is the form he it uses. I don't know why he uses this form, but he uses this man. Does that man not look like he is half Asian and half uh, Mexican? <laughs> it's nuts. That's the form he uses, and I don't know why, but he does. Um. So... Repent, the end is near. Jesus loves you perfectly. The devil hates you perfectly. No matter who you are, if you're a Sanderian, you're not going to get a kingdom. You're not going to get power or authority when you go to hell. The devil's just lying to them until they get to hell where God won't hear their screams anymore, their voice, and uh, it will torture them forever. And Sanderians can't be prayed out of hell either. And there are people that can most definitely be prayed out of hell. I'm telling you. Um, repent, the end is near. Jesus loves you perfectly. The devil hates you perfectly. The world is going to change for the worst like that very soon you don't want to go to hell it is not like you're sleeping when your heart stops beating god bless and repent it's vital to being a christian